Let me underscore the power that Jesus Christ has. In Colossians chapter 2 verse 9, the Bible says, For in him, which is Christ, dwelleth all the power of the Godhead bodily. Since you didn't get it, let me rephrase it. How much power does God the Father have? <coughs> All. How much power does God the Holy Ghost have? All. How much power does God the Son have? All. You take three alls. You combine them and put them where? In Jesus. Do you see why it is such an insult to doubt God? To doubt his power. To panic when you come to the Red Sea. Forgetting it's God who created the sea. And the seas obey him. So when he said, peace be still, the disciples were amazed and they feared exceedingly. Mark 4, 41, saying, what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? Because he has. In him dwelleth the power of the Godhead bodily. And so we have the power of God on the right side and the challenges you're facing on the left. Here's what human beings do. It's a natural tendency of the flesh to focus on the problem, not on the power. And so when three armies came against Jehoshaphat, in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, Jehoshaphat began to pray from verse 5 or 6, and he got to the end of the prayer in verse 12. He said, O oh, our God, will thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us, neither know we what to do. This is the company coming against us. We have no power. Three armies against one. One army against one is bad enough. Three against one. It's guaranteed defeat. But he ends the prayer in verse 12 by saying, Our eyes are upon thee. Jesus Christ has all power to deal with all difficulties. 